in to the online broadcast network, AfterBuzz TV. Over 20 million weekly downloads in over 150 countries and your number one source for after show entertainment. Oh, AfterBuzz TV. The destination for TV superfans. Producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows. Interviewing celebrities and showrunners. And bringing you behind the scenes exclusives. All thanks to E! Entertainment's Maria Menounos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! Why are either of you into this? I love this song. I, yeah. I okay, hey there, Faking It fans. Thank you for tuning in to Season 2, Episode 8, Zen and the Art of Pageantry for MTV Faking It. I'm Sterling Gates, and this week we have, again, obviously, it's same every week. I don't know. <laughs> We're back. Cortez G. West. What's going on, everyone? Hi, I'm Kylie Hodges. <laughs> Hi, guys. I'm Roy to Harry. And we are so excited <laughs> because we have Michael Willett in the studio tonight. Woo! Yes! Yes! The one and only. How's it going? So good. I'm so happy to are be here. Are you comfortable down there on the couch? I Do love this out? couch. <laughs> I'm so happy I'm over here. <laughs> we're so happy lay to down, have you here. Have yeah, a therapy so session. <laughs> well, we're so glad you're here. Good. I'm glad. Here, lay down. Tell us your secrets. Like, what's going to happen in the finale? <laughs> uh, yes, I can't. I can't. I can't, I can't tell <laughs> you that. I'm sorry. It's the one thing I can't tell you. That's it's the one thing. thing you can't tell us. <laughs> yeah, Ooh. just the one. Ah. Oh, no. Tell us <laughs> all what did I just... of your secrets. <laughs> what did I do? All right, well, let's get into this episode. We'll start off talking about Shane, obviously, since you're here. So why, got, not? why not bring the expert in when we talk about it? Yeah. Of course. So we have the whole Shane Duke situation. Lots of wrestling. Lots <laughs> of, of wrestling. in the closet wrestling. <laughs> Deep penetration. <laughs> oh. uh, <Hello>. Well, <laughs> we've only heard about that. We didn't really get to see. Yeah, that <laughs> that's a not different a, show. Not a for, that's more HBO. This is more MTV. MTV. Yeah, a little more yeah. MTV. <laughs> and guys, I gotta say, I was wrong about Shane, uh, Duke's father. He's all about it. He loves Duke. As I thought, Duke was what did you his say father about? was gonna be against him being gay, and that's why mm. he was so closeted. But right. it's really for sponsor people. So guys, yeah. I'm wrong. I can admit it. Yeah, first step is admitting, you know. Which makes first it, I for everybody. think, more interesting, don't you think? Like, yeah. That he's, he still loves his kid, mm -hmm. but it's just not like they don't believe it's profitable like in terms of business. You know? Yeah, mm -hmm. it definitely is a different take on the whole coming out story because it's whether people will judge you, all of this stuff. But this mm -hmm. is actually a corporation type thing. That's why he's kind of not sharing the whole truth here. Mm -hmm. So he's being he was being honest with Shane the whole time mm -hmm. about why right. he wasn't coming out. But this is new territory for Shane too because you know he's the one who wants everyone to be open and right. honest and then suddenly he's back in the closet. Mm -hmm. So right. it's difficult. By it default. Is. Yeah. <laughs> By yeah. default. Yeah. So the so the dad walks in on the make out, which I thought was gonna be this a huge ordeal but it wasn't at all like it wasn't addressed at all that was really interesting i thought it was going to be like an explosive homophobic dad situation yeah. where it's like get out of here right and a bunch of <laughs> get out of town yeah <laughs> grab shane by his ripped t-shirt which was really like nicely ripped but not <laughs> just yeah yeah where's that t-shirt from <laughs> um i can't remember actually i think we got it, like from wasteland or something oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> some moths attacked the yeah. shirt fashionably <laughs> but only near the shoulder Shoulders. Yes. <laughs> so so we have this company. Uh, Duke finally gets signed or is has a potential sponsor. Sponsor Chick -fil -A. with uh, Chick Fil A. I mean, Clark I mean. Go. <laughs> sorry, we had so it's a similar it. Chick Fil A situation though. Uh -oh. It's a very conservative Christian group. Um, they've been known for firing their gay employees and you know kind of launching attack against the rights, the gay rights. So what what did you guys think about that? This whole Clark and Go situation. I thought it was very current of them mm -hmm. to do that. I liked that. <laughs> what do they call cluck and go? Cluck yeah. and go. <laughs> cluck Drop and go. the homophobic <laughs> sandwich. <laughs> was that the line? The homophobic yeah. sandwich Don't line? Don't you dare eat that homophobic sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good line. It's like it's classic. It's a great line. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I th I, th I, th I like it. It's I, funny I, I, because it's, m I mean, money drives people. Right. You know? Yeah. And so Duke is going where the money is, and the money is to be straight and endorse homophobic chicken. Right. <laughs> so. It just, it's all about priorities and deciding yeah. whether or not being who you are is more important than the, your fighting, MMA fighting. Maybe thing. Duke was just really hungry <laughs> at that moment. I don't Maybe just some delicious chicken. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Maybe. But <laughs> we've talked in episodes before about how it's interesting that Shane is pursuing Duke because it seems like it's very genuine and we've seemed like he, he's more into like kind of finding hookups and stuff. Right. Like, what do you think it is about Shane pursuing Duke, especially because he's closeted? Like, he's like a project well, for no, we said We did say it was a challenge, though. Yeah. It's like yeah. a challenge to Shane. So you're that's, into the challenge. That's, yeah, because Pablo was like that, too. Mm. It's, it's something he couldn't get. It was, yeah. you know, Shane had to overcome him, and it's a similar situation. And, and uh, yeah, so I think he likes, like you said, a project. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But, but for Shane, are there actual feelings there, or is it just very project? No, I think I think he does really like him and really cares for him, and and um, I'm hoping that that's something we'll explore later. But right. um, I think they do. I yeah. They do. Well, because right now most of the scenes we see are wrestling, and you know it's a very physical relationship. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Needless to say. Yeah, and they haven't so, been out in the open. Like, right. They, we had the one dinner scene last. Uh, last episode, but they weren't together. Mm-hmm. They were, uh, you know, Jim. What, what was he? The the coach. His or, trainer. Yeah, his oh, trainer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trainer. I just brought yeah. my trainer to dinner. Yeah, because yeah. so everyone does that. Totally normal. And Duke's yeah. really good at tying shoes, so that's a good thing to have in your life. <laughs> He's yeah. Keep him around to tie your shoes. It's true. <laughs> and other things. <laughs> other things. All right. Well, let's get into the whole pageant, Amy Lauren yes. situation. Big hair, lots of sparkles. Yeah, lots of hair. Spray. Big hair. They, big all looked, they all looked great, mm-hmm. though. Um, but we see Lauren's dad back finally. When's the last time we saw him? Do we yeah, have we have the wedding? At the wedding. The wedding. Is that it? Yeah. Was yeah. It that long ago? We've only yeah, seen Amy's mom in the first episode. Yeah, like, we're so going definitely. on a honeymoon. I can't believe I forgot the tickets. Oh right, right, right. So that <laughs> was the only that's time. my accent. But we still don't know much about him. But this yeah. episode is we mm-hmm. learn a lot more. Exactly. Um. So Lauren, they sign Lauren up, or Lauren is participating in this pageant, and Amy decides she wants to do it too. And Amy's because there's this whole thing with her mom that she's way more proud of Lauren. She kind of wants this. She's never had that. Been able to connect with her mom on that level because she it's not mm-hmm. very girly. <laughs> I feel like um, Amy really needed to do this because of it's been a rough year for her and her mom. Like you mentioned, the last time we saw her was when she discovered her daughter tying up a man yeah. in the garage. Right. <laughs> not well, that she no, needed and to Liam coming down from her window. Oh, yep, that too. It's been a yeah. poor Amy's mom. What? Yeah. I know, got poor Amy's heart. mom. Can we start that hashtag? Poor yeah. Amy's yeah. mom. I'm so yeah. sad for her, like, quite often. Yes, yeah. she's, had it, she's had it rough. And and not that I'm saying that Amy needs to change herself for her mom, but it would be nice to have, a, it was nice to have that mother-daughter moment. Yeah. Right. I had a and lot I, of feelings. And I, and I, off that note, I think it's really important for Amy's mom to kind of have this moment with Amy, something they can bond over. Because mm-hmm. I don't think she's ever been like, yeah, she's been insensitive towards Amy and hasn't been the most supportive throughout her coming out. But it's, it's different people handle it different ways. You right. can't accept expect everyone to just get it, mm-hmm. you know. So I think it's great that even though it was different intentions here, they did finally have that moment where yeah. they kind of were on the same page for one. This season, I'm really liking Amy's mom. Like you yeah. said, she's yeah, accepting and she's trying to understand and she's trying to be there for Amy on different levels. Right, it's patience, you know? Mm-hmm. It, it, it's not gonna just happen overnight. And I, you can see that happening here with them. Mm-hmm. Also, Amy okay. looked smoking. Yeah, <laughs> she really like, did. S- like I would have pulled a karma for a minute, <laughs> pretended to swing for the other team. Cause she was good, yeah. yeah. That yeah. dress. You were, you were all about it too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, love I think Amy. Amy. all about Team Amy. Amy. Yeah, he's, he's yeah. definitely Team we Amy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Team Amy too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh wow. Yeah, I mean, I can't help it. Come on, I, you can't look at her. Look at it's her. True. Yeah. yeah, it's just you and know. Her lips. You so, know Amy and Karma. It? Angela Jolie. What is it? Angelina. Angelina Jolie. Yeah. <laughs> so Amy takes the opportunity to do the pageant to prove something to her mom. It seems like everyone in this episode is trying to prove something to their parents. Whether it's Shane, he's doing the thing, the sponsorship because mm-hmm. the dad's kind of pushing him. Amy wants to prove something to her mom. Lauren's trying to prove something to her dad. And we'll talk about karma in a little bit with her parents. So going off of that, Amy's trying to prove that she can do this whole pageant thing with her mom, blah, blah, blah. But then Reagan steps in and they kind of make it into something else, something to prove a point about pageants and about what they do with our expectations of beauty and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So Reagan's really 
passionate about this. So obviously there's something there mm-hmm. that's sparking that. I'm kind of get, I'm the coach. Kinda getting like a little tired of Reagan though. She's, <gasps> always, you got, think? she's always in her feelings. <laughs> like, girl, get out your feelings. She's a girl. <laughs> get out your feelings. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's what we're about. It's hilarious. Cortez, you are surrounded one night a week by women in the studio. <laughs> are you just <laughs> all that. about our feelings? <laughs> all the feels. All the feelings. Yes. She No, she is kind of like an advocate. Doesn't it seem like that? She has like her cause yeah. and she's trying to get Amy on board. Yeah, her car has a bunch of stickers too on yeah, it. Yeah, the truck, well. yeah. <laughs> oh, does it? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, 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 that's awesome. awesome. The that's point when um, she was telling her, um, I can't talk with you when um, Karma's behind you all the time. Oh, yeah, I love yeah. that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. I, can't, I can't talk to oh, you yeah, with Karma, Karma lingering in yeah. the background. Yeah. No, Car- really. Yeah. <laughs> actually. She's actually right behind you yeah. lingering. <laughs> that was that's a perfect awesome. framework. I love that one. Oh, MTV. Uh, but let's talk about Bailey's dad for oh hot Bailey Lauren's dad. Oh uh, yeah, I did that all Lauren's. last week. Yeah, she came here last week, and I was like, Lauren Bailey, I don't know. Who this is. <laughs> and in my notes, I have Bailey's dad is super aggressive. So <laughs> no, that's not personal. I met Lauren, so I'm just gonna change that. <laughs> uh, but obviously, so he's pushing her. He even calls her his little show pony and all of that stuff. So, so it's like. Prounce. Go ahead. I'm just having to go on Ellen. Did you say bounce? Prouts. I was like, I was like, bounce. Where are we bouncing? Uh, it's Cortez's bedtime. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so we never see him on the show, so he's obviously not that involved. But when it comes to this pageant, he's in it to win it, pretty much. So yeah, he's a he's a he's a pageant mom. Dad. Yeah, yeah. He has a Team Dad Lauren shirt, too. Did you guys catch that shirt? He has a Team Lauren shirt. (laughs) She's like, yeah, he was wearing the Lauren (laughs) hat. Lauren is like, (laughs) some old high school picture of it. I think that's the same one from that's hanging in, well, Sterling and I noticed in the. Uh, on set, that they oh, have a picture yeah. of Bailey or Lauren in a. <laughs> She's a household yeah. name. Yeah. At this no, point. Exactly, I mean, gosh. Geez. I think it's the same photo. I mean, it would make yeah, sense. Yeah, I think but... so. I think you're right. The one, the portrait yeah. hanging in the hallway. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> um, and before part of the pageant starts, um, Amy and Lauren have a conversation in the back about kind of what they're trying to prove with this whole pageant thing, both obviously in it for different reasons. But um, Lauren goes out and she stumbles. And obviously the dad, they cut to the dad and he has a very disappointed look on his face. And you can tell that something's going on with Lauren. Like she hasn't revealed why exactly. Um, but was that conversation before the thing? I think it was later. Cause was that it later? was later. Yeah, it was yeah. later. Okay. But, so we'll talk about it now. So later... <laughs> She has the little the the conversation. Let's talk about the conversation with her dad. I can't remember exactly okay. what it the happened. one at the show. The yeah. yeah, yeah. I can't remember if that happens before or after she stumbles. When she's after, I think. I think it's after, right? Yeah. Oh no, that no. Isn't that her reason why she chooses to to change her? Yeah, I think mm-hmm. it is. Yeah, her so it's right before she goes on stage. Right. And um, she kind of is in an argument with him, and she says you've been signing me up for these ever since I was five and then it kind of clicks that's the same year that I it was found out that I'm intersex and mm-hmm. right so obviously he's been trying to push this whole being a girl and being as feminine as possible because she thinks he's ashamed of her which is kind of obvious it's not it's totally obvious right. yeah right Mm-mm. what do you guys think about that <gasps> Lauren's a complicated girl yeah. Like every, I feel like the season has just shown that like she's really putting on a facade for a right. reason. Yeah. Um, I was expecting, I was expecting her to be like super daddy's girl, and like she might be super close to their dad, but this makes me like hate her dad. So yeah, yeah. I want her to hate him too, <laughs> <laughs> because that's not cool in my opinion. I'm yeah. kind of curious to see how their relationship relationship is going to be after she realizes that. He was pushing the beauty pageant because when he found out she was intersex. Right. I think we, I know. I, th- I think we're gonna have a, another vulnerable um, moment with with Lauren. She's gonna mm-hmm. see like uh, he just really couldn't. Just like you just said about um, Amy's mom. You know, she it takes time for her to. Yeah, but I mean, he's it. had since she was five. Yeah, well, that's true. Then and that again, was yeah, his that's true. reasoning to deal with it, or that was why he was how he was dealing with it. Yeah. What's his job? Do we know? Does he does well, like? Why travel? is he never there? truck driver? Does he travel? No. <laughs> I'm not. Sure. No. I am not the Lauren expert. Okay. You know what's well, interesting is like we don't have any like background. Amy on doesn't him. have any opinions on him, does she? She calls him by his first name. Yeah. Well, that's because one morning they were having normal. breakfast. He he does something with traveling because I remember the the morning um, that they were sitting and having breakfast. 
Yeah. Trivia question. Yeah. yeah. We'll Which fan out. those in the yeah Twitter fans? I know. Right? Uh, yeah. Tweet us. Let us know. Yeah. That, and we'll get one in one second. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we know exactly. Because I would like to see that you know a little more. I mean, this is her stepdad. You would think she would need some sort Amy of stepdad? adjustment. Yeah. Yeah. And right. I, I mean, you want to see more of Amy's opinion on yeah, him? Yeah, because we've seen so much about Lauren bonding with Amy's mom. Right. I mean, like this pageant thing. Right. You know? Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Mm-hmm. There's not a bit. Yeah, there hasn't been a lot of the parents. They're kind of coming back into the story now. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so let's go back to Reagan and Amy have this whole plan that when she answers the question, she's going to go on this whole rant. They have a PowerPoint and the whole thing. Reagan's super into it. But when she gets asked the perfect question, the one about pageants being seen in a favorable light, what would you say mm-hmm. to them? Um, she ends up just saying she sees how proud her mom is, and they just had that talk about how they're finally bonding all sweet moment that gave kylie all the feels all the she feels live tweeting about all of them <laughs> and uh <laughs> so she says Fancy. all she says is that she can see both sides but then lauren grabs the mic it's like hold up and then that's her little thing she had a kanye <laughs> moment she did have a kanye <laughs> moment. i thought it was great <laughs> yeah but she doesn't want to hide anymore and she's kind of yeah. fed up with the whole thing she's dedicated her whole life to being kind of little miss perfect this little show pony like her mm-hmm. dad said and then just to find out that it's only because he's ashamed. Yeah, and to try and make him proud, and it won't even do anything because that's how she is. Exactly. I like this badass SMH. Lauren. Lauren snapped. Yeah, I'm she really it. did. So, but then that led to her telling Theo the truth, and that. So we think. Well, I think yeah. I, think I don't think she would lead to be like I have something that I have to be honest about. Yeah. I want some cookies. Yeah. <laughs> I really need some. Yeah. <laughs> but, but first, let's wait until yeah. the season finale. But first, let's take a selfie. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, I'm gluten and I feel like yeah. that's <laughs> I need to let you know. Yeah, it's interesting they didn't include the actual part of her telling him. Because, but I guess we don't know what his reaction is, and we'll save that for the rest of the season. It might pick how up. Do you, yeah, how do you think he'll react? Well, I'm hoping he'll react with, oh, that's okay, because I'm hiding this really big secret yeah. that I'm intersex, too, or something like that. <laughs> I was going to say, oh, you're I'm intersex, probably. me, too. Oh, oh MJ. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm curious to know what this brownie is. The brownie. Uh, from the t- teaser for next week, oh. yeah. Lauren says, did you eat no, did somebody's you, brownie? His brownie? <laughs> that's something like that. Do you <laughs> I'm sorry, but that sounds like the beginning of a dirty joke. Yeah, right? <laughs> well, that's what I thought it was, Con- uh, I mean, because uh, she was mad. I'm, I know. She you was can put upset. those pieces together, <laughs> America. Brownie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the brownie. I wonder. <laughs> I don't know. Gay. I guess we can talk about that more in production. He's gay. Yeah. yeah. He likes <laughs> Liam. He's a reporter. <laughs> <laughs> He's not Tell a you. reporter. He Never is. been kissed. I'm telling you. <laughs> I, did, I did read. Thank you. <laughs> I did read a prediction on our YouTube comments. Oh man, I meant to I meant to read it again, but I forgot what it was. But I think it could be that one too. I'll so, let you guys know. So later. you're saying there's an idea on YouTube, yeah. but you uh, don't remember the idea. Uh huh. That's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> but I remember reading it and thinking, oh, I could see that. The fans, sorry, that's not very I wish I only knew what it was. <laughs> I wish I knew. The fans <laughs> leave predictions on in YouTube comments on our videos, oh, okay. and they're. Their predictions really are that. really good. Yeah, I think they have like more time to think. We're just like on the show right now. We're trying to think, but they like sit there and like hypothesize. Yeah, they're like sitting there like hmm. they're just smarter <laughs> than us. Yeah, I'm gonna really, go. they're just smarter. <laughs> <harder. laughs> wow. And shout but, out to shout out to the fans, guys. Oh, Thanks yeah. for commenting, and yeah. please keep rating us on iTunes and. Should we just, mm-hmm. we'll do this right here? Yeah, go ahead and do that, and we'll talk about karma and Liam. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, I have something for in karma's storyline. Um, th- trivia, the guy, uh, her brother, Zen, mm-hmm. uh, is played by Derek Mio, who was in my film GBF. Oh, what? Yeah. Crazy, right? Nice. Crazy connection. Wow. Did you know that before it all started? Or no, they like, no, they set? brought him in, and I was like, oh, my God, he's perfect. And, and That's awesome. So cool. Yeah. Yeah. And so, yeah, he plays uh, karma's brother, who comes back from the Peace Corps. So mm-hmm. he's so yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Oh, he annoyed me. Yeah, we'll get into really that. Good. Sorry, he was really Ryan. annoying. <laughs> yeah, he really was. You do your thing, Ryan, then I will rant about Zen. Oh, do okay, it. I'll do it real quick then. <laughs> Guys, as Kylie mentioned, rate us five stars on iTunes, and if you rate and leave a comment with your Twitter handle, you will be entered into our little raffle of winning a signed 
birthday card by the cast. I hope it's your birthday. But it doesn't matter. Everybody's it's all our birthday. Everyone has a birthday. Yeah. Yeah. You just write your name in it, and it's like, it's for me. Just yeah. write the date. <laughs> when and is your birthday? We also have an After Buzz t-shirt Yay. that you can uh, win that's going to be signed I by the cast I don't even have one well. of those. Yeah. So you got until the end of the season, guys. You need one. Put your name in. Isn't five stars. Style? Don't stretch it out, Cortez. I thought you were going to put it on. All his <laughs> rippling muscles. <laughs> well, you, you, and, oh, and also you got to follow us. For, you got to follow all of us Follow on us on the Twitters, guys. Yep. Um, um, are we ahead. ready to rant about Cortez is just going to keep modeling the shirt, and I'm going to rant about Zen. Okay. Okay, first of all, I feel like I didn't even realize she had a brother. What? Although, I just didn't it. think about it. Oh, okay, okay. You know? Yeah. And, like, her world has kind of... Her parents' world has always revolved around her, for the most part, from what we've seen. And when he first showed up, I was like... They're going to be competing for attention, mm -hmm. you know, for the parents. Well, you yeah. called that one, huh? Oh, really? I mean, I didn't I say it out loud, really but it was all were. in here. They really were, They are too. thirsty for some parent love. Yeah. My first thought was, adopted? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was going to say he was adopted. <laughs> exactly. I mean, did yeah. we know he was adopted before? <laughs> no, nope. just no, we just didn't. No, we didn't really talk about it. What if yeah. he doesn't know he's adopted? <laughs> but no, well, like, even when he came in, I was like, he looks nothing like I was like, what? It's what? very observant. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Takes off your mom's side. Scott, an interesting complaint. I was a little dumbfounded there for a moment. Yeah. But it's just funny how Amy just comes from this, like, super granola family. Granola? Like, yeah, like, you know, her parents have, like, a, a juice truck. Yeah. And, like, they oh, run, granola. what is it, pea flag or <laughs> yeah. whatever. And, like, they hug all the time. Right. And, yeah, they're just super hippy-dippy. So, like, of course her brother's in the Peace Corps. Hippy-dippy. Hippy-dippy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But he got on my nerves real fast. Right. But he wasn't Same. in the Peace Corps, right? No, he was. He was. But he quit. Oh, he quit. yes. Yeah. And he's a manager oh, now. See, I <laughs> thought it was. <laughs> Let us tell you on the show, <laughs> really. <Jordan. laughs> well, I just want to make sure show. because I knew that he was. And Okay. And then, <laughs> yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> I'm on board now. No. All right, now they're all. So, you one of those if it's not your scene, you're in a trailer? No, I was confused about his storyline. So, what? I was confused about his storyline. Uh, okay. It's very complex. Cortez, yeah. don't tease the talent. Yeah. They're not going to come back to our studios. They're going to hate us. He's going to blacklist Cortez. us. On I, I was on your side. Yo, I Michael. was defending you no. and your rippling you muscles. <laughs> In your in that you, she was saying you're gonna rip that shirt, and I was saying yeah, I got you your, said you have rippling muscle. I'm, I'm you. on your thank side, you. man. Thank you, bro. <laughs> so. Here I was having a good time. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> no fighting, guys. <sighs> Um, okay, should we talk about karma situation here? Oh yes. Okay, so Liam feels like he's coming in second to Amy, and part of that doubt is coming from not. From Karma still lying. What's happening? <laughs> Karma still lying to her parents about being actually being straight and Liam being her boyfriend. Mm -hmm. So the whole her whole storyline is the process of telling them. It's like a different kind of coming out instead of telling someone telling them that she's gay. It's that she's actually straight. Honestly, I thought that Liam was going to react how he was at the dinner. Um, what what did they call that? What do you call that? What what the dinner. With the, the, with the with the last group episode, hang. group hang. Oh, okay. the group hang. Yeah, at the group hang, like how he reacted towards her, like it's not about you. I thought he was yeah. about to like really react on her again because she was like lying, kept lying and not telling the. Well, he was visibly annoyed. Yeah, yeah, I thought he was. Yeah, he, <laughs> he was. He can't be so, a hypocrite though. He is a liar. Right. Mm -hmm. He was lying Yo, for a very long been... time. Well, did you catch that? And when the show first came on, and um, Karma said that, and <laughs> and Amy made that face like. Mm -hmm. What? No one saw that. But no, what are you talking, are you talking about you talking on this about? episode? Yes, in the very, when it first came on, when they was talking about um, Karma and Amy, and she was like, oh, um, "Tell your face, I, I I accept your apology or something like that." Oh yeah. When she was sitting there, like, uh, and, oh, uh, gosh, sure. I just remember from that scene when Amy said, "Tell the truth," and she said, "You know, that's not how it functions." So obviously, that's a ongoing thing with Karma not to tell the truth. Well, no, Karma thinks that Liam doesn't tell the lie. She was like, "How can I tell him something that I've been lying no, and he never told a lie?" She then, was talking about her parents. No, she was talking about Liam. Be huge we'll leave that for the Lots fans. Yeah. <laughs> you guys help me out with that because you're not going to make me look like I'm thinking about something else. I know what show I was watching. But thinking about Liam? That's not a thing, you guys. No. Well, well, regardless. And, and well, regardless, the whole episode, Karma is always fine. Not even just this episode, but throughout the whole season, she's mm -hmm. been finding excuses not to tell her parents the truth, whether it's Amy or whether it's 
zen or whatever and she's always like i'll do it next week so and that kind of makes liam question whether or not she actually has feelings for him like why do you think she was hesitating so much because it's your parents' disappointment. Do you think it's all the parents, though? Yeah. No, I don't. No. Oh. I don't think so. What do you think? Well, I think she does have, like, uh, I think she's getting off kind of on the fact that Amy kind of likes her. Right. And she even, we kind of saw that in the episode before where she's like, oh, you're not into me anymore? Oh, that's uh, that's great. You know, like, uh, I'm so happy for you. Right. You know, but, I, you know, I think she she liked that she was getting the attention or you know whatever and and yeah and now she i think it has a lot to do with the parents but i think there is some of that as well and she's trying to hold on to liam because someone is there yeah 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 Yeah. just in case yeah yeah well it's no secret that karma loves attention no matter no matter where it's coming from so and i love how shane i don't know how long ago is this where he kissed her and he was just like i don't get it (laughs) (laughs) what is it that was good (laughs) Yeah, exactly. um, but she eventually comes out to her parents and says, I'm straight, Liam's my boyfriend. And she says that she was just, feel- why she didn't tell them is because she just thought they'd be disappointed in her, blah, blah. In which they respond with a big embrace. Of course. Yeah, which then quickly steals the thunder. I wish my what family would do a group hug growing up if I ever did anything. If I like spilled milk or something or if I got a bad grade, they just, let's hug it out. I know, especially okay, if you said ahead. the truth. Like that's yeah. a, that's the best time to give a hug. Yeah. Means your not, kid tells you the truth. Not and to be then, grounded. Yeah. Thanks, mom. And then the I parents. Agree. Bringing up some like really <laughs> bad memories. Do you want to sit on the therapy couch? <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, Michael and Roya are really breaking down some, some walls for Roya. Getting deep. Yeah. Real deep. <laughs> but I... I mean, and the best part is that Karma's parents, like, in inter- like they take it as they're the ones to blame, which is right. like, it's hilarious. To Again, me. I wish I had that with my family. Yeah. <laughs> Same. Same. Uh, but, but the then. Liam, but then. Yeah. <laughs> gets worse. <laughs> but so Liam is proud of her for telling the truth, and they are, you know, canoodling and whatnot. And, um, but then she's like, yeah, well, you make me a better person. Like I'm telling the truth, blah, blah, blah. And then he is so guilty that he reveals that he slept with someone the night they broke up. You guys are not like that. Yeah, we're like we were really screaming over. at yeah. the yeah. TV. We're screaming. Yeah. We're like, no, Liam, you're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell the truth. Keep lying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you should have done this two episodes ago when I predicted he would. Yeah. <laughs> if you're not going to do it then, don't do it now. Um, but anyway, so, and so she's like, well, at least it's not, I can't blame you because we were broken up. At least it's not someone I know. Ha ha. He he. And like, <laughs> yeah. his face is just. <laughs> kept going, getting smaller yeah, and smaller. His face is just like, he's about to have a panic attack. My, she, oh, you oh, go first. My thing is, I can't believe she brought up Amy. Yeah. Because to me, it feels like she might have known in the back of her mind that maybe Amy was a potential person. Right, like out of or all even, of the, yeah. that was the worst. That's the that worst was the person. worst yeah. thing yes. that could happen. I don't think she thought about it. She was just saying like Amy would be the worst person that you could do that. She's like, I mean, it's not like it was Amy. Right, exactly. Yeah. And then he's like, oh, <laughs> oh, yes. oh wait, I know. Mm. Well, yeah. I know. Well, he didn't even have to say anything because mm-hmm. it was just very obvious. It was good to was. see her look mean like that though. I wanted to see her. Yeah, like, I want to so him across the that face. Claw so him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Make another holy shirt. Yeah. <laughs> she throws wow. him out of the window. Get out of now he's going to go back circle. to the workshop and start banging on metal because <laughs> he's mad. Because <laughs> he's depressed. Yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, so true. Well, so the secret's out. Did uh, we, uh, how do we feel? Next well, week is going to... Next week is... No. Feel what better. Feel lighter. I feel better. Refresh. I'm really glad I got that off my chest. Yeah. <laughs> Well, and then he sends Amy the text message while she's getting it on with Reagan. She knows. Yes. Let's go to the most awkward text message to read after you I just enjoyed yourself. I love the fact yourself. that it said, right, and it says she knows, slide to the right. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was Ignore. like, whoa. Yeah. Well, um, and then, like, what if next week Reagan sees that text, too? Then it's like shit hits the fan. Yeah, because they just talked about Reagan and Amy about how Reagan was dating a girl that was just mm-hmm. in a phase, and to her, that hurt more than... Mm-hmm. Being good, mm-hmm. but yeah. you guys you know? keep this in mind. We we all said that after that after that episode, like when they got out of bed, we don't know if they slept together. They slept. They definitely slept together. They can't show it on. Oh, so MTV. now y'all want to? So They're now, naked. You know <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He okay, just we'll wants to see it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. So it's not a big deal. It's totally normal. <laughs> <laughs> of course, we were talking about the pill. If she took the pill or not, we no, didn't see her too. take that. No, no, no. 
She had sex. Intercourse. Are you really? You're Cortez questioning them having denial. sex at the whole point of the season. Let's, really? Let's have <laughs> let's Michael. Have our expert. expert. Tell we us. have one in studio. Do you think they had <laughs> sex and she took the morning after pill? Um, t- I don't know how they... Did they poke it? What kind of protection <laughs> they used, but um, I definitely think things went down. Mm. Boom! Went down. Or, up. <laughs> or in? Or in? Oh. Yeah, oh, yeah, too much. Sorry. But better question: Like, what do you think will happen with Reagan and Amy once she finds out? Oh uh, well, God. on that note, why don't we get into predictions? Or oh, get into pre- or better question? Or better let's question. get into predictions. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe we can talk yeah. about that a bit. In there? Yeah, yeah, let's. And then we also got questions for. All right, cool. We'll do we'll that. We'll do that. Yeah. Power yeah. through it. All right, let's talk oh, about no. some predictions. Well, let's answer that. Yeah, for the question yeah. that Michael threw at us. I think Reagan's gonna understand <gasps> really? because of that speech that Amy gave to her. It's got to Well, here, the thing about that speech is I don't like how he's questioning Amy. Me. No, said, I'm concerned. I'm nervous. <laughs> a line that stood out to me that Amy said in that whole speech was that she doesn't have any exes of any sort. And even though like Karma and her were faking it, she wasn't. So that still is like a real relationship that she's gonna have to get over. So I don't know. I think. Oh. You guys, the after the studios are haunted like by prediction. happy, happy ghosts. They like their predictions. Laugh. The ghosts like yeah, their no. predictions. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like karma, um, I mean, not karma, Reagan won't be cool with it. Of, of course, at first she will not, but I think she will come around. I think she's very understanding. Well, going off what you were saying this whole season, that karma is going to get jealous of Amy being in a relationship, mm-hmm. blah, blah, blah. And then Karma would want to be back with Amy. That's what I don't I think Reagan's season. gonna like that. You don't think whom? Reagan's gonna like that. Well, of course not. Competition there. I said She's not gonna season. like it, but if it happens, I'm ignoring you on purpose, right? <laughs> <I know. laughs> but if it happens, I think she's just gonna have to get over it. I'm still, I'm still looking for the black girl to come back. Do we think <laughs> she's? I think she's gone. I don't know. Do you like Reagan and Amy together, though? You like them together? No, I actually, I, mean, I actually like hey, the well, other girl. He doesn't like Reagan. Oh, okay. You know who I'm talking about? What's the other girl? Name? The coffee shop. She girl? Went, like yes. went on a date with yeah, her. Yeah, one date. But like she like scared episode. her off. She ain't coming no, back. Cortez. No, she, no, she's coming back. She said, when you figure out what you want <gasps> to do, she got her me. digits. Well, she yeah. got Reagan. It's true. How do we think that Theo is going to respond to Lauren's um, confession? <laughs> um, I'm gay. Yeah, gay or intersex. <laughs> I really think He's like, it's, that's okay. Let's go on a reporter. Theo seems like a very <laughs> understanding guy. Because he's a he reporter. Has like, very understanding. Gosh, I and wish I could got... remember that prediction on the YouTube comments. It's going to be crazy. <laughs> Under cover cop? Haunt Was it the cop? Sterling. No. Okay. Well, regardless. I'll, I'll, I'll look can at I, it. Can I, Michael, can I ask you questions from the fans? Yeah. Let's okay. do it. All right. So. I don't like that one. Do you ship Carmi or Raimi? Huh? Who, who asked it? Oh, uh, Raimi. Oh, sorry. At oh. Vaguely Precise asks, do you I ship... I like Raimi. That's how you say it? Raimi? Raimi. Yeah, yeah, I, I think like so. that one. You I like, like them together. I like yeah. her hair. Yeah, they have... I feel like they complement each other. <laughs> she's definitely... Uh, she's edgy. And, oh my she's God. like an edgy Disney princess. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <was> exactly. <laughs> Cor- yeah, Cortez is, is bored with me talking, <laughs> so he's like, I'm just kind of entertain myself. <laughs> Teasing. Um, I think Raimi is definitely, like, she's a little badass, and Amy kind of likes, I don't know, yeah. I think that's what Amy likes. Yeah, they're both kind of, they have, like, unique interests, yeah. And, and, yeah, I think they're cool together. So, at Sassy Gay Panda, <laughs> that's a great Twitter handle, asks... Who are your OTPs on faking it and on other TV shows? Am I do 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 we know what OTP means? One true one person, one true pairing. Pair. Who are your OTPs on faking it? They said it, it on the in the season. Is it, is it a person? Remember the Twilight episode, the like, conversation about Twilight? About sure. it. Is one true pair one um, true one true pairing? Sassy game well, on, well, well if it's one true pairing, then I prefer uh Duke and Shane. I want them I hope they, they last. Oh. Yeah, I want them to oh. something to happen. Oh. Okay. You guys don't miss okay. Pablo, do you? No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> saw your tweet come uh, I'm like, yeah. I know. Um ha, at fifth hug mini says, How great is it to make out with Skylar Maxon? <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, it's, it's, you know, I'm a professional and I'm just <laughs> doing a job and, no, he's very nice and he's a great guy actually. Uh, we get along really well. And, yeah. Yeah. But he's, those scenes are fine. <laughs> <laughs> no complaints on your No end. complaints. No chaplets. No stink. No <laughs> chaplets. No. That's, a, yeah, that, that has been a problem in the past. Yeah. Wow. wow. Um, on United States of Terra, the kid I was kissing, uh, actually one time I was like, dude, you, you, I was like, can someone get him some chaplets? <gasps> <laughs> like, no, we were like that close. That is so Shane of you. No, it was, it was <laughs> all in good fun. No, but funny. it was true because uh-huh. it's like, yeah, it, you know, you gotta be protected. Yeah, right. That's hilarious. <laughs> and moisturized. I wouldn't eat a nothing that day if I knew I had to kiss somebody in the scene. Nothing. I wouldn't eat. I would just take <laughs> my wash all day. All day. I mean, Greg just... eats tuna sometimes. Oh. On the set. I don't know if before kissing scenes, but I can't. I mean, like, dude. That's, all, that's a good. Unless dinner. you want to, you know, like you're mad at someone. Or, <laughs> do that. Do that. It's a good suggestion. Rita's well, getting on my nerves. I'm gonna eat some tuna. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, at Tyler Wilfong27 says, which love triangle do you like better? Karma, Liam, Amy, or Karma, Amy, Reagan? That was so, very, like, do, yeah. hostess of I, you. I, I think, <laughs> thank you. Game host. So the only difference is Liam or... Yeah, Liam or Reagan, pretty much. Um, I guess, I feel like the one, the, the con- most interesting and confusing relationship is between Amy, Karma, and Liam. Liam. Yeah, I think so. Right. Because they're best friends, but there's, they're very intimate, and, mm-hmm. and where the lines are very blurred. Yeah. If, okay, and then two more. At I've Been Voked <laughs> says, if, if you could be any other cast member for the day, who would you be and why? Lauren. I'm just kidding. Just go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's kind of, well, it's, that's a good one, because, like, Lauren is, and Lauren and Shane, uh, Shane are very similar, so, but, um, I think my, I would like to be Amy in some ways. <laughs> I, I really like Amy. I, she's, you know, she's like down to earth and she's quiet and she, I, I would watch Netflix documentaries with her anytime. Oh, <laughs> I want to do that. I know. At Woke Army asks, any pranks you've played on set this season? <laughs> uh-uh. Actually, uh, Greg has been the prankster on wow. set this season. Oh, I can't think of anything epic that he did, but <laughs> oh, one time he like told someone there was like a a snake in 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 the food, or what? and so that we were all had to get we all had to get vaccinations, <gasps> and like somebody what? totally bought it. It was it was so weird and so funny, <laughs> and I was so jealous. I didn't think of it. <laughs> you had to get vaccinated. <laughs> Not no, act- oh, no. that was part of the job. <laughs> See, she believed it. Yeah, okay. That's how good it was. Uh, <laughs> All right, those no. were some fun questions. Uh, <laughs> that <was> so fake. <laughs> they were. Also, uh, at Stacy Sammy's wants you to sing a song for the Faking It fans. Oh, no. Are you willing to do that? Yeah, I just have to think of a song. Go, go sing figure us your as soon song. as. Oh, okay. is, it, is that weird to sing? I never finished what I started. Wasn't sure what I wanted. Gonna leave you broken hearted over and over and over and over. Oh what my god! god. Oh, I love that. that. That's a great transition. So we want to. <laughs> Woo! Really? really? <laughs> <laughs> um, what are you up to? What are some projects we can look forward for you? And what's yeah, going on? What other um, well, uh, I'm doing a lot of music right now, and I'm gonna be in the recording studio. And um, I came out with my single "Started Over," which I just sang. Um, but there will be a music video coming out soon. So awesome! So can people go and get the single on iTunes, and where can they find it? Yes, you can uh, find it on MTV.com, and you can go on iTunes and download it. And you can follow me on Twitter at Mr. Willett. All right, perfect. Yeah. Nice. Where can we find the rest of the panel on social media? Yes. Oh, Giz is looking at me. Um, <laughs> well, I have to give it a shout out too. Is it Uber, uh, Uber Makeup? Uber, what was the place? People that do Glam their makeup? Glam, Glam Squad. Glam Squad. Thank Uber. you. <laughs> shout out to Glam Squad. They uh, came to AfterBuzz Studio and did our makeup. Well, oh, half of her makeup. That one. You know, nice. so gotta Just shout out to them. Check them out. They're like Uber. They come to you in LA uh, for makeup. They come to you. That's pretty dad. Awesome. And, and hair. hair. And That's hair, awesome. makeup and hair, Cortez yeah. got his hair makeup done today. I got my today. hair flipped yeah. in the back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I see it. <laughs> Looks good. But in the meantime, guys, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at HeyRoy. That's H-E-Y-R-O-Y-A. Follow me on the Twitters and the Instagrams <laughs> at the Kylie Hodges. Right. Well, you can find me on all social media at Cortez G. West and even on the Twitter. You can also follow us on <laughs> AfterBuzz TV and also on AfterBuzzTV.com. And... 
Stirling. And you can find me on Twitter and Instagram <laughs> at Sterling Cates. Thank you so much, Michael, for yes, being here. Yeah. Yeah. We love having yeah. you. We love so you. Fun. I'm and not going to make you do the squirrel clue this time. Oh, uh, darn it. <laughs> 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 to that. And thank you guys for tuning in. I'll do it anyway. See you next week. <laughs> Bye. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.